As we head into day four and five, we quickly realize that Mother Nature has her own agenda. And with a quick so change of plans, we learn to adapt and just roll with it and decide we are going to continue on because what more can you do? With minimal visibility, it's a true Instagram versus reality moment. Isn't that a crazy view? The views were still unbelievable, even if Jay says that this drive hurts his soul. We get to share some of our snacks yeah, with the locals, be amazed by the Vietnamese work ethic, and cross our fingers we make it to the end of the day, seeing something it's unbelievable in this very one-dimensional view, when we know there's 360-degree views that go for miles under this wall of white. So I hope you stick around to the end to see how it all unfolds on day four and five on our crazy and unpredictable Northern Vietnam adventure. Good morning. As we thought, it's misting this morning. Does it just get your fun? Oh, day four. Day two of the actual loop. Day four of the Ha Zhang adventure. What adventure it has been so far. We had the best sleep last night. It was so good. Softest bed we've had on our days yet. <sighs> so, we figured it would be gloomy. It's just puts a damper on your trip, but I think we're going to try and head out and see. The plan is to end up in Mayovac today, heading to the most northern part of Vietnam. And uh, yeah, with some stops along the way. So I forgot to tell you guys that our room, our room was awesome. Like I said earlier, the beds were awesome, but it was $14 a night. It had a TV, air conditioning, hot water. Honestly, what more can you ask for? It was great. Is in town, as you can see and hear all of the traffic. But when we biked all day, we just want to park to bike at the end of the day and just walk to get something to eat. So perfect for us. So we're going to see if we can get some coffee, pack up the bike and hit the road. It rained last night, so you're always going to be cautious when you're driving. Literally driving in the clouds right now. <laughs> Visibility zero <laughs> for the view. No view whatsoever. Yeah, now we're under the cloud. <laughs> wow. A wall of white. That's crazy. <laughs> We're in a cloud. <laughs> uh, you really can't see anything. And God, there's a uh, lights on scooters and horns. Jeez, this is crazy. We drove for about another 10-15 minutes and the visibility was not getting any better. So we made an executive decision. 
All right, so change of plans. <laughs> We're back at the hotel. We're gonna hunker down here for one day and see if the weather is clear tomorrow. Or if the weather is gets better this afternoon, then we'll take off this afternoon and see how far we can get. But it was the visibility was just nil. You couldn't see anything. The roads were wet. It's a bit cool out, it's not too too bad but more of the visibility in the slick roads. Um, and with the big trucks here, you just don't want to chance it. So it's gonna be an editing day instead. <laughs> and that's exactly what we did. We ended up going out for dinner and exploring Yan Min. We ended the night at this coffee shop, hoping for a better day tomorrow. Good morning. Oh, uh, it's later this morning, and yep, it's still crappy outside. Jay and I sat this morning and debated back and forth what we should do. Should we abort the uh, Hajong Loop? Because honestly, it's calling for crap weather the whole time we're going to be doing the loop. But you really can't trust the weather app, so we're really not sure if it's legit or not. We went on AccuWeather. It seems to be kind of the, the better app to use. We're contemplating staying here until it looked like it was going to be better weather or just not doing it all or just continuing on. So we've decided that we are going to continue on. But I think this video or this whole Hajan experience is taking a left turn or more of an ins Instagram versus reality kind of uh, video. So we are leaving. <laughs> These tour bus, that's a tour bus. It barrels through town. It doesn't stop, it just lays on the horn the whole time. Anyway, it's later in the morning. It's about 8.30. We're gonna try and hit the road for nine. Cross our fingers. And you're going to get the reality of what the Hajong Loop is. It's not all sunshine and rainbows. <laughs> oh, brother. But we're going to try and stay positive. Again, we had a good night's sleep. It was another $14. Another bus. Maryland through. One after the other after the other. Anyways. So $14 to stay here. We had a good sleep. It was nice and warm. They actually have heat here as well. So, I mean, what more can we ask for, honestly? But we're gonna pack up the bike and hit the road. So this is, I think, day five. Hajong Luke, day two. <laughs> oh boy. Alrighty, heading out of town. So we stayed yesterday night. When we got up yesterday, we saw a lot of the backpackers leaving around 9.30. And it's right around nine o'clock right now. And it's a cool morning. It's about 60, low 60, 63, I think. And you can see the fog up on the mountain way up there. Definitely a cooler morning, for sure. It's not raining, not misting, but definitely cool. Now it's starting to rain, and now we're in a traffic jam because they're doing construction. All right, and we're off. As we headed out, we were kind of feeling defeated once we were faced with the same weather as we did yesterday, but we took it slow and pushed our way through. We are definitely in the clouds. Mm. 
at least we're coming out of the clouds now. valley down below. The one thing about the rain is that it brings out the colors, which is cool. Into the fog we go. Past tourist stop. Interesting. I can see my breath. It's that cold. Yeah. We've made it an executive decision and we are not going to the flag because you would not see anything and it's just really a waste. That the flag is the most northern point of northern Vietnam. Right on the border of China. But it's just so hazy and misty you would see a wall of white you wouldn't see anything so we just don't see a point in actually going to be honest so we're going to continue on to mayo back 25 kilometers we'll and it's going to take an hour <sighs> and then we'll find a place to eat <laughs> yeah i can see why this would be a beautiful drive can't see the top of the mountains because of the clouds. Beautiful. And everything is so green. Jay says that this drive hurts his soul because he can't drone and I don't blame him because it's beautiful big valleys big mountains but what can you do this is a reality <laughs> right All right, we stopped to rest our butts in the valley with the beautiful views, green, green mountains. This is unbelievable. Look at those fields down there. Oh, that's crazy. So neat and tidy, the green fields over there. 
And they just freshly planted this one over here. Oh, it's nice to take a break. Can't see my breath anymore. But it's still cold. <laughs> Glad we got these rain suits. They're doing the trick. <laughs> Jay's all dirty. Yeah. The bike is filthy. Having some snacks. <laughs> yeah. Oreo cookies, Ritz crackers. <laughs> it's a breakfast of champions. So uh, many people working. Look at these ladies. That's amazing. We saw a group of ladies doing that exact same thing. And there were, I think there were six of them carrying two of the poles. So there was one on each end and then every so often they would switch. I'm sharing my cookies. Hello. Let's enjoy. <laughs> Sometimes you have to take the opportunity and pull over whenever you can, wherever you can. And this time, <laughs> we're at the dump. This is the only place that we saw that we could pull over, so we're doing it. <laughs> it's like a dumping ground for dirt and looks like landfill. <laughs> Doesn't smell. But we're in Dong Van. Hello. <laughs> and yeah, it's a pretty cool town. And the mountains and the and the clouds. It's just crazy. Look at all the buckwheat flour. And the sun actually came out for like two minutes. It's, try it's still trying to come out over here, the sun. We'll take it. It's not raining. It's a nice temperature. It's a little cool, but it's still nice. And there's so many evergreen trees. Jagged rocks. It's very, very, very green. Wow.
Stop for a bite to eat and then carry on. Oh, there's the flowers on the car. We found a spot. We wanted to find a spot that was kind of enclosed. So a lot of the restaurants here are like open air. They have like no front window or no front door. <laughs> this place is big and it's enclosed. So we're gonna sit, find something on the menu, and get fueled up, and head back out. How's the ride been so far? So it's okay. Yeah. This morning sucked. With all the uh, all the fog and mist and that it was very rainy, very wet, very hard to see, very slippery. It's gotten a lot better now. It's still overcast, but it's uh, basically the the mist and that is just up in the mountains, up high, and the roads are dried off. So definitely not ideal, but could be no. worse. But I'm glad we left. I'm glad we didn't stay. Yeah, right? yeah, we could only stay there for so long. I mean, the weather forecast doesn't look good for the next bunch of days, so. It's not like staying one more day would have been made it now beautiful and sunny and nice. So exactly. we're gonna call that lunch a miss. So well like you win some, you lose some, right? Oh there is blue skies. Just a little patch right there, and that's about it. We are back on the road. Holy shit. Okay. Look at that view. Holy Hannah. It's pretty amazing. Isn't that a crazy view? Holy, that's pretty freaking awesome. It's going to be and a white, white out. <laughs> uh, this is one of the most popular passes, Métis Lang Pass, <laughs> and it's a wall of white. And there is a river there, right there. <laughs> One of the most iconic, <laughs> right there. iconic views. <sighs> so we're waiting, but I think we're too late. <laughs> I don't see an end to this wall of white. This is it. There's, nope, can't even see it. cannot believe how fast the clouds move. It's unbelievable. It goes from seeing a green mountain to like whoosh, disappearing. It is crazy. Still have not seen the water except for that split second we did when it we first rolled up. It's beautiful. It's just so mystical like a movie. Crazy. I know. That's awesome. <laughs> wow.
another wedding. was to stay in Mayovac, but because the visibility is so poor in some of the stops that we were going to do, um, we are just cruising on past Mayovac, but it is a beautiful town. The buildings are very colorful, very green and mountainous. It's absolutely stunning. But we're getting back on the bike. We have about an hour, almost two hours from here to Baulac. That's gonna be our destination. We have booked a hotel. We just kind of pulled over on the side of the road and found something in Baulac. And it is cold, as you can see. <laughs> freezing cold. It's not freezing cold, it's cold. Without the sun, you get green, lush valleys and you get these this black rockets everywhere. So it's definitely a whole nother experience than sunny skies, but it is pretty cool. Just as we pulled over, there was a guy on a raft or a woman on a raft and they went from one side of the water to the other side of the water. It was so neat. We're out lower out of the clouds now. We were in the clouds for a long time and it was chilly but it's getting it feels like it's getting warmer as obviously as we're heading downward and we're making good time so we thought ah we'll stop. Hello the drone again. <laughs> Why not? We made it. Oh, 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 it feels so good. This place is beautiful. Has a little balcony. Look it. You can see the river. It even smells nice in here. I feel like she sprayed in here before we got here. Hello? Sorry. Wow. <laughs> this is huge. I know. So I know. It's like she sprayed. It smells like she sprayed like room spray. It smells nice. It smells very nice. Oh. It feels good. What? I know. Our bags are and look at Jay's. <laughs> Our bags are like so dirty so dirty <laughs> okay time to unpack once we are finished unpacking we found a great little restaurant that served the best faga i've ever had and we also got beef vegetable stir fry they were both delish this is exactly what we need after a day we didn't know exactly how it was going to end but I think it was, it's a good ending to a good day, don't you think? That's good a ending? Two, that's a two long. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, turned out better than expected. Yeah, I think so too. 
crappy the weather was. We drove through a lot of fog and some really sketchy yeah. roads. Yeah, and the visibility wasn't the greatest, but what we did see was pretty epic. Yeah, we turned out our way right through yeah. a few stops. Yeah, and our homestay is awesome. That's a surprise. I'm glad we, I'm glad we skipped our original destination and went a little farther yeah. because this, this hotel is really nice. And it's only $19. For $19? That's awesome. It's beautiful. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna eat and get warmed up. With our bellies full of delicious food, we took a walk around Baulac. I think everyone in this town was at this wedding because the streets seemed pretty quiet. And if you thought we were dirty after day five, well, day six brings a whole new set of challenges to our adventure. With steep, muddy switchbacks, I think this is where Mother Nature says, in your face. Literally. So bring your boots and prepare to get muddy. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next week.